Okay, this example, uh, we will uh, look at a sample assembly code uh, for the ARM Cortex M4. Uh, this assembly code will satisfy the following uh, condition. So here it says write an assembly code that calculates the sum as given below. The variable count is saved in register R0. So we'll pick a variable, uh, a number for count. Uh, the sum is saved in register R1. Okay, so that's what we need to do. Sum, sum is the addition of all numbers starting at 1 all the way up to up to and including uh, the variable we assigned for count. Okay, so let's get started with uh, Kyle Microvision. So we'll create a new project in Kyle. Okay, so here's Kyle Microvision launched. We'll create a new project, so project, new Microvision project. And I'm going to call it, uh, give it a name, uh, let's see, my assembly project. Uh, it is going to run on the STM32F4 series. Uh, so choose the right processor that you have. In our case, we have uh, STM32F407BZ. Say OK. Uh, we need a few things. For example, we need the core of the CMSIS and we need the startup file, startup code for our device. So say OK. Once this is created, I'm going to add a uh, add a source. So sorry, there you go. Source uh, add new item to group source, and I'm going to choose an assembly files and give it a name. So my count uh, dot s, and I'm going to say add. So here's my blank assembly file. So let's get started with writing the assembly code. First, we'll declare an area for our data. So area, uh, I'll call that my data. That's just a name of type data. Uh, I'll declare two things: uh, count as an EQU, and for this example, we will test count up to ten. Uh, we'll let's also declare sum. Initialize to zero. The next area will be the code exam area. So, code area, my code, and this will be for the code area. Uh, we need to set the entry mode Alright, so we'll start our code by loading register R0. Oops. Zero with the value we stored in count. Then we'll load register R1 with the value we stored in sum. Now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start out. Where is my All right here? Here is my expression. We're going to start out by initializing initializing i to be equal to one, and we'll temporarily store that in R two. So here we are. We'll temporarily store LDR in R two. Now I'm going to create a uh, a looping uh, looping function. So what we want to do is we want to count starting at i equals 1 all the way to count and including count. So what I want to say here is in my uh, label called my loop, I'm going to say add r1. r1 contains a sum. Uh, to that, add this value. This is the value that's in i. That's what I want to say. So I'm going to take whatever is an R2, which is I, whatever is an R1, that's sum, initialized to 0, and do basically this, sum equals I plus sum. But right after I do this, I want to increment the value that's stored in R2. So I want to increment that, increment I. Next thing I want to do is 
check if i has gone all the way up to count so check R4 is just a temporary register. R0 contains the value of count. R2 contains the value of the incremented version of i. And I'm che checking if i has gotten all the way up to count. So let me add a comment to this. Okay, so I've, if once, since I'm using sub s instead of sub, if you look back and figure out what sub s does, uh, it basically subtracts r0 r2 from r0 and updates one of the register flags status register flags for example if this is zero then the zero flag will go up okay if the zero flag is not up meaning i is not equal to count what i want to do is i want to keep going back and adding i to sum and updating my sum so let me add a branch if not equal if it branches not equal in other words the zero flag is not set go look at what b and e does uh, then go back to my loop now if i get out of this and the zero flag was set my i have not yet added the final value count to my sum so let's add that as well so i've added the final value count and i'm going to just hang here by just creating a new label to stop and branching it back to here so i've created my code so save this in in kyle you can assemble it compile it build it two errors it says all right so let's figure out what the errors were on line 11 and 12 it says i'm missing a comma so if i go back here i notice r0 is missing a comma here r1 is also missing a comma here so make sure you build and receive no errors so i still have an error undefined symbol so undefined symbol it said so let's go see this this mean uh, needs to be in lower caps so let me do that let me build it again and i no longer have an error so let's ah i need to change the settings debug st link debugger in the settings to use a serial wire uh, say okay say okay and see if this will debug now there you go it's loading the code on it and the debug is now started okay uh, this is the startup code uh, here is my actual code uh, I want to get started right away on main, so I'm going to right click at the first line where I load register R0 to count and say run to cursor line. So my cursor is not right there, so here's my uh, program now. I'm going to step through it. So first time this line is going to be executed. R0 is loaded with, remember these values are in hexadecimal and A means 10, so R0 now has 10. I'm going to step through the next line. Uh, it has sum now uh, is zero. My cursor is now in the third line right here. Uh, so now I have loaded R2 with one. And if I let it run, I should see that my sum will eventually get to 55. So if I let it run, stop. R1 is at 37 r2 which is the value of i has gone to 10 so I, that's a count r1 is 37 37 in hexadecimal 37 in hexadecimal if i convert that to decimal is equal to 55 sum of all numbers from 1 to 10 if you check is 55 so this code right here satisfies the requirements set here on sum uh, being the sum of all numbers from one to a number called count. In our case, we we checked our code, checked our code by setting count to ten, and checking that that's correct. And if we wanted to check up to a different number, we could do that very easily as well.